everyone, I'm going to share with you how to make these graduation cap favor boxes. And I was um, inspired by Christina Baldwin. She had posted a video a couple years ago on how to create these. And I love it. And they're so adorable. I did put mine together a little bit different than how she put hers. And I'll put the link to her video um, down below. Um, I didn't want mine to be all black. Um, I wanted to add a little touch of color, so I used Heidi Swap's Sugar Sheet Collection, and I um, really love how it turned out. So this one has the uh, pink stripes to it, and then when you open it up, um, there's Hershey Kisses inside. So you can fit about six or seven kisses in here, or you can put, you know, any candy um, would be really fun, or you can even put money. Um, it's really cute, and this one has the animal print. Really adorable. I love this one with the chevron print. And then here's another animal print. It's really cute um, little favors. And then this one is a floral print. So let me show you how I put it together. Because I have to make uh, quite a few of these. I wanted to make it to where I could just make it really fast. Um, and let me show you here. So what um, I used is I used a two inch scallop circle punch. That's for the bottom base. I also used the one and three eighths circle punch. This is for the lining inside the little box. And then I used a stamp it up. It's a, a label punch. I'll put the, I forgot the name to it. I'll put it, you know, in the description box. Um, I also used this stamp set. That's spelled out graduation day. It's an old Studio G stamp set. Um, I used some of this a really thin thread for the tassel. And what else? Oh, and then the main part is you're going to need a toilet paper roll. Um, she actually used the toilet paper roll to create this, um, but this is actually the way I did it is I just used paper. Okay. So I just didn't have time to, I mean, it would just been too much work to cut them all up. And I needed something really fast. So let me show you um, on what I came up with. Okay, so I use um, this, you know, the cupcake tin. This, this, is, this tin is also great to use um, when you're creating multiple favors. Um, because you can use it to create your little assembly line. Like, like what I did. So I got my little caps here. I got my uh, scalp circles there. I've got some candy here. And then these are little circles to go inside. Um, this is was for my little banner. And then these were my brads. So, you know, this comes in handy. And you can totally decorate it and make it look, you know, prettier. But that's another great way to use these little muffin tins. Okay, so let's put one together so I can show you, you know, how I um, did it. So basically, you're going to need two um, design papers. Okay, and sorry about that. You're going to need two design papers, and they measure two and a half by six. Okay, so you can basically get several of them with a uh, 12 by 12 sheet. And then you're going to score it at a half an inch, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to add adhesive to one end of the paper on the opposite side. Okay? So this is going to create the top lid and then the bottom. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So basically this is where the toilet paper roll comes in handy. Okay? So what I do is I just use it as, I guess, a template, I guess you could say, just to create the circle. Okay? Because I want it to be a really even circle um, when I'm... Um, create it because I could have just done it myself like this um, but I wanted them to all be the same size and I wanted them to you know look you know nicer um, so this is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel out this little sticker here okay now this is gonna be my bottom so whatever's gonna be your bottom base the scored line is gonna be on the bottom okay and I'm going to do that one first, okay? And there's a reason why I'm going to do that. So I'm going to line this up with the end of the toilet paper roll. 
Okay, I'm going to make sure it's all even when I'm placing the paper all the way around. Okay, and then we're just going to adhere it like so. You want it to be a nice tight fit, okay? So it should look like that, okay? And then you're going to take the second one, which is going to be your top lid, and you're going to place that over this one. Okay, but this time, obviously, because it's the top, the score line is going to be on the top. So we're going to place that right on top. Now this one, you don't want to make it too tight because, again, it's going to go over the bottom lid. So you're just going to roll that over. Okay, and do it like that. Okay, so it should be one on top of another. Okay, now you're just going to take the top one out and just put that to the side. And we're going to work on the bottom one. And we're going to push that out. Now where you can see the score lines, you're going to cut slits. And I'm just going to cut, I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to just cut as I go. This one has some glitter, so... I cut about nine slits. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, maybe about eight slits. Yeah, eight slits is good. Okay. Now I'm going to put... Make sure you can you can see the score line inside. Make sure it's lined with that end of the toilet paper roll. And then all you're gonna do is just push these back or push it in. That way you get a perfect even circle. Okay, so it looks like that. Then you're gonna take your little scallop keys. And this is just cut with some cardstock. It's, it's a um, design cardstock. And I'm going to take my hot glue gun. Actually, get some more glue. Ran out of glue here. Okay. So now we're just going to put glue on here. And then we're just going to put the scallop right on top. And then I just kind of flip it over to make sure it's nice and even on each end. So it, you can see it perfectly goes around, leaving enough scalp to show. Okay, and then I just take a paintbrush and I just kind of push it down, make sure it's all nice and pressed onto the scallop circle. Okay, so I do that, and then I'm just going to take my little, I'm gonna, so I'm going to take it out now, okay, so you can see you got a nice little um, box there, and then I'm just going to take a little circle, and I'm just going to add some glue, and I just use this, the ultimate glue that I picked up at Hobby Lobby which I'm starting to run out of. And then I'm just going to put it on the bottom. It doesn't fit perfectly, the entire circle, um, but it's, gonna, it's enough to cover that little black dot there. I could use my die, but again, I was, you know, I wanted to make these fast, so I just used my circle punch. And then I'm just using my Tim Holtz pick to kind of make sure it's in the center. Okay, so it's in the center. And then I'm going to take my paintbrush and just kind of tap it. Make sure it's nice and even down there. And it's not going to come apart. Okay, so now I got the bottom base. Now to make the top base, 
I'm just going to put this back onto my little toilet paper roll. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut my little slits. And once you, you know, get a hang of it, it goes, as you make the other ones, goes really fast. Especially, you know, as you have, you know, everything put um, in the muffin tin and everything all prepared and just makes it easier. Okay, so this is going to be where the cap goes. So I just put that to the side for now, like that. Now here's my cap. Now to make this, this is two by two square. I just cut these up with some um, lightweight chipboard, you know, to make it a little bit heavier. And then I just took my um, Fisker's circle punch and I just punched a hole in the center. And then to make the tassel, you're going to take some of the string. And all I do is I just cut, you know, a nice long piece and I fold it in half and I fold it in half again. I don't worry about making it even um, only because I'm going to cut the ends anyway. So I do that and then I just cut another little piece and then I tie a knot in the center. Just try not. Okay, but before I actually close it, I take my pick and then I just tie my knot so it keeps that little hole for me. Just makes it easier. Oops. Be careful. You can use your stylus or paintbrush so you don't poke yourself like I just did. Okay, and then just do that. Okay, and then as you have that, you can kind of adjust the string, make sure the ends are somewhat even. Okay. So that looks good. Now I'm going to take it out. So other piece. Okay, so you see that little hole right there? I'm sure you can see it. There's a little hole. Okay. Now I'm going to take my brad. Now I didn't have any black brads with me and I didn't really feel like going to the store honestly to grab some black brad. So I just took the brads that I did have, as I showed you in my tin, they're all colorful, and then I just took my Copic marker in um, black in the 100, and I just colored the top, so, because that's the only part that they're really going to see anyway, so, that's what I did to that, so you could do that if you don't have any black brads, but you have like a ton of brads like me, so, now you're going to run the brad through the hole, oops, sorry, through the hole, and then you're going to put it through the the cap here. So you're going to take those two long strings right through the hole and just pull it and do the same thing with the brad. Okay, and then you're going to close the brad and then you're going to cut that extra string out. Okay, so it should look like that. And then you're going to take the two I, you know, strings to kind of put it together so it becomes one and then you're just going to cut it so it's all even. And then it just kind of hangs over like that. Okay, well that's a little bit long. Let's make it shorter. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now we're going to go back to this and I'm going to put some hot glue on that so we can glue the cap back on, or glue the cap on, and I'm going to take my cap and place it right on top, 
I'm going to flip it over really quickly and make sure it's kind of even on the square here. And I'm going to take this out again and I'm going to press this down, make sure it's even or stuck onto the cap. Okay, and now I'm going to take my other circle and I'm going to add some glue and then sorry, that's Princess scratching the rug. And then I'm going to cover that so the brad gets covered up and the little string. Okay, if you can see that. And then just press it again. Okay, so now you have your top lid. And then you're just going to take your chocolate. So I fit about, I can, can fit about six or seven of these in there. So I'm going to fill those up like so. And then put the lid back on. And you got yourself a cute little favor. And then the last thing we need to add is our little banner that says graduation day. And all I did was I took the punch, okay, and I stamped graduation day. So I'll show you how I made the banner using that punch. So I'm going to stamp it really quickly here. So let's just stamp that. Okay. And then I'm going to take the punch and I'm going to punch that out like so. Make sure I'm in frame here. And then all I did was just cut it like this, okay? That's what creates the little banner. So I just made a little fishtail. That's all I did. And then I took my Tim Holtz distressor and I distressed the edge. I always have to have something distressed in my project. I don't know why. So I made the banner distressed, okay? And then I'm just going to do this like so. And I'm just going to add some hot glue just to the middle. So add some hot glue just to the middle. And then I'm going to place it on my little box like so. And then you got yourself a cute little graduation paper. So I hope you enjoy this. Again, these are really fun. You know, once you start one and you got your little assembly line going on, um, it, it goes faster and faster. So thanks for watching. Bye.